Hey, how's it going? I'm Hannah with HR Partner, and I'm here to help you get the most out of your trial run. So welcome to the software, and in this video, I'm going to cover a few of the basic setup steps to get you well on your way to being successful with the software. So to get started, you're just going to want to make sure that on the dashboard when you sign up for your trial that you enter your company information, like your location, um, and you should be able to select that right on your dashboard when you sign up. And if you don't see it, then you can just go to company and then set up right here on the left hand menu. And that's where you can set up your location so that HR partner works better for you. Next, you're going to want to set up some initial configurations. So to do that, you go to company, data files, and then categories. So on this page, you have things like categories and departments and positions within your company. We have some loaded up here by default, but we know that every company is different and chances are you have some custom uh, categories you'd like to add. So you can go ahead and do that here. And if your company has multiple locations, you can add the different locations here. And that way when you add an employee, you can link them to a different location. All right, so now that you've made sure you have your locations in the system, you can go ahead and add your employees. So when it comes to adding employees, there are a couple of different options. The first option is to import your employees via spreadsheet. So if you have a spreadsheet of all of your employees, you can go ahead and import that as long as it's in CSV format. And there are more details on that here. If you go to employees, import, and then import CSV, there's a list of instructions here on how you should format that spreadsheet. The next option is to import employees via your payroll system. And we integrate with zero payroll and make it super easy to go ahead and integrate your employees. So if you have zero, then that's a great option. And the third option uh, to getting your employees in the system is to manually add them. So if you have a small company and you don't already have a spreadsheet with your employee data, then you can just go ahead and add them uh, one by one in the system here by clicking employees and go to all employees and then click add a new employee. All the fields here are fairly straightforward. Uh, the only thing you'll want to note is that employee code is a required field. And so if you don't already have codes for your employees, um, just unique identification numbers, then don't worry. You can go ahead and just generate a random code. Uh, it can be any number you'd like. Now, once your employees are in the system, you'll see a bunch of different options under the module section. So um, things like keeping track of their absence and leave, uh, the renewable documents. You can actually set up reminders for different renewable documents to make sure that you stay on top of those things. Uh, and the reminders are sent via email and they're also on your dashboard. You can also store things like performance reviews and you can even make employee notes. There's also just a very general section for keeping track of employee data, and that's under the Edit Employee Details button here on the right. And as you can see, there are tons of options here. Now, if you want to add things like salary and position, you just click Positions and Salaries under Modules. All right, so there's a bunch more you can do under employee modules, but uh, just for the sake of time and getting started, uh, I'll skip that for now. But if you'd like to look at more information on that, just go to help.hrpartner.io, and that's our help documentation website. We've got a bunch of text tutorials and video tutorials there for you to check out. All right, so another common question we get in HR Partner is how do I configure time off and leave for my employees? So in HR Partner, there are a couple of different ways to track vacation. So if you want your employees' vacation time to roll over every year, then that's possible for sure in the system. And then if you want the leave to, say, accrue over time, that is also possible. So there are a couple of different ways you can track vacation in HR Partner. And of course, there is a self-service portal where employees can log in and submit vacation requests. But what you usually want to do in the beginning is configure your vacation time for each employee. So that way they can check their balances later and see what's available and um, anything they request will then take away from that balance. So the first important step to this is to make sure that your employees have start date set. And the reason for this is that if you want your employees leave and vacation to be able to carry over to the next year, then you'll need a start date set for them because that's how it'll take that into account. 
So to set a start date for your employees, um, you just go to edit employee details, and then you find the section that says commenced employment on, and then select their start date. Then hit save, and once you have that all configured for all of your employees that you'd like to track vacation time for, you just go to employees, and then click time off and leave. So there are two important things to remember when you're looking at lead balance and vacation and an HR partner, and that is that your employees will have both employee entitlements and employee lead balances. So the entitlements are just basically what is their annual allowance for vacation time. And for their lead balances, that just basically means how much vacation time do they have available right now. So entitlements are their yearly allowance and their balances are what's available now. Okay, so moving on. To set up your employee vacation rules, you just want to go to lead balance actions, this little drop down arrow, and then click set up lead profiles. So here you can configure different types of leave. And if there's not a leave type here and that you want and you want to add a new one, it's super easy. Just go to company, data files, and then lists. Then you go to absence reasons and just add your leave type. But if you can find your company leave types here, then you can go ahead and configure those right now. So let's say you want to add rules for your employee's annual leave. So you, then you would just click configure. And now let's say you want to give your employees 25 days vacation every year. You just change that number to 25. And under accrual method, this just basically means do you want your employees to have all that vacation time available up front? Or did you want to slowly um, give them their leave days based on their start date and their employment? So in this example, I'm going to say I want to give them all their vacation days up front. And in this section below, most of these are just for incremental leave. So if you have upfront leave, then you can just continue. So if you want these leave rules to apply to every employee in the system, and then that way you don't have to go in and edit them all manually, which can get very tedious, then you want to check these two boxes and hit save. All right, so a common question we get is, what if some of my employees have a different vacation balance than others? And this is super easy to cater to. So all you have to do is you click time off leave, and then in the drop down arrow, you click leave entitlements. And you can see this will show you a list of all the uh, employee leave entitlements you just set in the system for 25 days. So let's say one of your employees actually gets 30 days. You would just go in and you can just edit that manually for any employee you'd like. And then make sure you hit save there at the bottom and it'll automatically update. All right, and then for every anniversary of their employment, that annual leave slash time off balance will automatically be taken into account. Um, so this is really great, especially if you don't want to use spreadsheets to track your leave. Um, all the calculations are automatically run for you and you don't have to worry about it. So, all right, well, that's about it for setting up time off and leave balances. Uh, there's a lot more to it than that. I just want to touch on kind of the basics for you right now. Uh, if you're looking to do something a little more complex, chances are it's possible in the system. So if you run into any questions along the way, definitely give us a chat on the right-hand corner right here of the app and let us know what you need help with. With HR Partner, you can publish jobs. And what happens is that after you add a job, um, it is automatically published online and you have your own published jobs portal. So you can also integrate with different apps like Glassdoor. If you want your jobs to automatically be pushed to Glassdoor, that's possible. And to get there, you just go to recruitment, configure, and then integrations. And once your job is published through HR Partner, this is what it'll look like. And applicants can apply directly and you'll be able to then view the applications within HR Partner. Once you make a hire, you can mark them as hired in the system and their data will automatically carry over to the employee section. All right, so the next section I want to show you is checklists. And checklists are really ideal if you want to create, say, employee onboarding checklists or you want to create checklists for things like training at your company.
I won't go into too many details here. I just wanted to show you a brief look um, at the checklist and you can find separate tutorials on the checklist themselves. But long story short, checklists make it possible for you to come up with a list of tasks for employees and um, to have the employees go through those tasks and check things off. Also, automatic reminders are sent via email. So after you've scoped everything out, you're going to want to enable your employee self-service, and that way your employees can do things like log in and submit time off requests and view things like company news and directory. So to enable the self-service portal, you just go to Ed Employee Details, scroll down until you find the self-service portal section, and this is where you can set up their login information. I would recommend um, using their email address as their username. Then you can set a temporary password for them. Now, if you want your employee to receive an email with uh, all their login details and instructions on how to log in, then just check this box right here and they'll receive an email once you hit save. So the other area I wanted to show you real quick is the company library. And this is where employees can view things like company documents and handbooks and procedures. So this way they don't have to go uh, message or talk to their manager to get these documents um, if they have lost them or they need to review them once they're hired. Uh, they can just log into their portals and then view things like the company handbook um, and procedures all on their own. And so if you need any help, there's always this help button here on the left hand side of the menu where you can click documentation, post feedback and ideas, or click the talk to us button to chat with us. And also for your reference, the chat box is right here on the bottom right hand corner of every page. You can just click that and you'll be chatting with somebody on our team. And definitely don't hesitate to let us know if you run into any questions whatsoever. We're here to help, so whether you feel completely lost and really need some guidance or you just have a quick question, definitely don't hesitate to chat with us. All right, awesome job. So throughout the week, we're gonna be sending you a few different emails uh, with steps on how to get set up. And what we've done is we've broken them down into each individual step. And so that way it's a little bit more digestible. And each time a message comes in, you'll be given a new step and with, you'll have some guidance along the way to help you get started. So we definitely hope that is useful to you. And yeah, if you run into any questions, let us know.